You're about to witness Project UAV, where we search for the best drone on the market, push it to its limits to create the best possible flying machine around. And this right here, I've got to give you a warning because this is so good, so fun, that it actually might ruin all other drones you've ever flown. Nothing kind of compares to this. So stay tuned. Just want to say you've been warned. G'day you absolute legends, Stu here from UAV Futures and this is the start of Project UAV where we are trying to find the best drone, push it to its limits to have the most fun you will ever have in FPV and I am happy and also a little sad to say that it succeeded in a way I could never imagined and all these drones on the wall behind me they, they pale in comparison to the fun I am having with this thing. So you might have seen my lightning video. I'm going to link that up there somewhere on this side. Thanks very much, YouTube. That was the base of this, but it just the thing for missing that was missing for me, it was digital. We right now have, if I can get this in the shot in the roof cam, it is we've desoldered the onboard VTX. We've added in digital. We've maxed out our batteries. We found the perfect flying style and the perfect size and ratio, everything like that. This right here is just mind-blowingly fun. So you're gonna see some flight footages. Um, at, if you've ever wanted the best drone, crazy flight times, insane performance, digital in a small form factor that's also not gonna break the bank, it's very rare for me to make a backup follow video on a video that I just did two in quick succession. This has reinvigorated my absolute passion for flying where I'm flying this thing all the time, like as many packs as you can get. So first of all, I should show you some of this flight experience while I'm talking. I mean, look at this thing. You are doing power loops. It is cruising around. It is so much fun. The amount of power that it has and the tune, it just does everything. It is so responsive off the sticks. If we stick it on the scales, uh, all up, the all up weight, or I guess we should say the dry weight of the craft before we go cruise around, it's coming in at 54 gram, 52 grams. And when I've got my battery on there, uh, we're looking at like 82 grams. So all that digital, everything like that is coming in around 80 grams. I cannot believe it. I am absolutely blown away. You can tell just how excited I am. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about this. But let's show you why that flight footage has been going. What did I do to improve our original analog one um, to get to this digital version right here? So I was using a rubber band for a little while and that just let me get the most out of the different type of battery packs that I have. However, um, if you don't wanna do that and you're playing along at home, maybe you've got the original Lightning will run beautiful on these as well. These GMB batteries, these 2S LiPos, these 550 milliamp hours, they are a godsend. You're getting like five minutes plus of crazy flight times um, and just, it's a beautiful thing to fly around. And the other part, and this part was kind of a little bit tricky, which is why I wanted to make this video to show you guys. We're gonna open it up and I took out the original VTX and inside there I put in a little Cadex, uh, not Cadex, yeah, Cadex 1S walk snail uh, little board. So let's do this. It's only got four little screws and and you can see it is a very clean build as well so hopefully you guys can see this there is hardly any spare room it was a very tight fit but we did manage to do it nonetheless um, and it was really easy to convert over so if you're playing along at home you've got one of these but you'd also like to upgrade it to digital or maybe this is the craft that pushes you over to digital i'm going to show you exactly what i did um, it took a little bit of mucking around but anyway we are here now and I've got to unscrew this little board. And I only had to use one spare uh, thing that it was bolted down with. I'm not getting any range issues because it's on Express ELRS. I did put a little tab here. Uh, that is to stop any short circuits because you do have two boards pressing very lightly on each other. Uh, and in case there was any contact or carbon or anything like that, I didn't want to have any short circuits. So that's there. But if I peel this back, uh, I can show you exactly which part we needed to desolder. So, oh, I've just lost that screw. So with the top off, let's zoom in. You can see I've taken off the original antenna. That's the original VTX antenna because we are no longer using the onboard VTX. We wanted to completely disable that to make sure there was no interference. And the way you do that, there is a tiny little, bear with me, I'll put a diagram on the screen as well, but there is a tiny little jumper pad right here. You will need a few little soldering 
tries or uh, don't do this as a first time solder. Make sure you have a few little practice runs first. There is the tiniest little pads here that you need to debridge so they are no longer connected. So once that's done, it cuts power to the onboard VTX. So that's not, no longer gonna be working. I simply took off my analog antenna right there. Uh, we've got our receiver right here. You don't wanna cover that up. It fits perfectly between the two boards, but if you're adding some extra things on or you're not playing along at home, you wanna have that as less covered as possible so you can get the best possible range. And then the way I wired up my little Cadex Walk Snail 1S board right here, uh, you've got some little ground and power uh, right here. And over here, you've got your RX and TX. Uh, I'll put another diagram on the screen because it might be a little bit tricky to see um, right there. I had to, when I was soldering mine, it is very finicky. It's a small uh, space you've got to solder with. I had to take off this little grommet right here just so I had a little bit of extra freedom when I was soldering it in. Once I'd done that, uh, you had this antenna mount which no longer fitted at the back right here into these two holes. I had to move that towards the front. And uh, because of that, there was a originally a little like dome piece that was on the top. I had to remove that. So it took a little bit of weight away. Didn't worry about the structural integrity. It didn't, didn't mess it up at all. I've been smashing this thing around. I've had so many stacks and it is still held up very, very strong. Um, then once you've done that, it is simply a process of carefully putting it back together, making sure you're routing all your wires correctly. One part I want to point out that is very important because look, we don't have much space to work with this build, which is why it's so light, it flies so well, but you do need to do it right, which is why I'm making this video. I want you guys to be flying as well. Right here, if you put your uh, board, once it's all in, make sure that your wires are not getting pressed down by the aluminium frame that goes on the top. Make sure that is going over uh, this little piece of coating so there's no short circuits or anything like that. Once you've done that, uh, there is a preset. If you jump over to Betaflight, you can have a look and make sure you enable the OSD in there because that's gonna be how you're gonna get your OSD onto this board. And then that's it. You are off to the races and you are going to have such a good flight experience. I can't stress this enough. I love FPV. I love you guys having a great time with the FPV and I have never in my like almost decade long experience with FPV, making guides, flying drones, this is it. If someone said to me, this is all you can ever fly, this is more than I would have settled for. It is like, it really is the best flying experience I've ever had and I wanted to share that with you guys. I mean, just look at this. I am taking this thing out all the time, just cruising around, having fun. Here we are ripping through my backyard. I find this thing so many different places. I'm not getting any RF dropouts or anything like that. So do yourself a favor. And I don't know how I survived going through one of these gaps uh, in just a little bit, but do yourself a favor, get one of these. And if you have digital, please, please, please convert it because it really, it's got everything. It's got speed, it's got power, the flight times, it's not terribly expensive. The batteries are super cheap. And look at that speed. Like, I don't know how much more <laughs> you really need. I can't wait to get a bunch of these together. And this kind of feels like the future for me of FPV. I know big five inch races are cool. Um, I know freestyle drones are cool, but this is gonna do everything for me. And I'm sure you guys can agree watching this at home, but put your comments down below. Is this not impressive for this tiny little drone ripping this thing around? It's not breaking the bank. I know we do have a digital system on there, which look does add a little bit of money, but at the end of the day, this is exactly what I want to fly. And I'd love to know what you guys think about it as well. The dog loves chasing it around. People aren't gonna get terribly upset. I have no idea how I survived this. Like uh, through there, I had to watch that back in slow motion. I got very, very lucky. The FPV gods were looking after me right there. But man, overall, this is, you can probably tell in this video, I've never been so excited for a product in such a long time. I really am talking years, which is why I wanted to make this for you guys to say, hey, look, if you were one of the lucky people who ordered one of these uh, and you also have a digital system at home or you've got the walk snail system, you definitely can convert it to make kind of like, I don't know, Project UEV, searching for the best drone out there that we could possibly have. And for me, this is, uh, I'm absolutely in love with this little thing. So look, hope you guys enjoyed that. Drop your comments down below. I've got a heap of stuff coming over the Christmas break. I can't wait to show you. However, I just needed to get this video out there. It's the start of Project UAV, making the best drone possible that anyone has ever flown with the most fun, the most just, just, 
the coolest drone. I'm basically making the drone that I would want to fly forever and this is like such an amazing step. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you would like to support my Patreon, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, spread a little holiday cheer. It's all about sharing the love of FPV. That link's gonna be down below. Other than that, subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying.